first time that you're introduced to Hobbits in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy, Bilbo Baggins talks about his fellow Hobbits and their passions in life. It has been remarked by some that Hobbits' only real passion is for food. A rather unfair observation, as we have also developed a keen interest in the brewing of ales and the smoking of pipeweed. But where our hearts truly lie is in peace and quiet. You know what, I think if I was going to be any character from The Lord of the Rings, I'd have been a hobbit. Meet Peter Kenny. Peter's known as Australia's biggest Tolkien and Hobbit fan, possibly the world's biggest fan. This weekend, he'll be meeting one of his heroes at Supernova on the Gold Coast. Peter Kenny, hello. Hello, Kelly. How are you? You know, you have an absolute house full of Tolkien, Hobbit, memorabilia, don't you? I do, yes. When did this passion start? Way back in 1976. Mm Mm-hmm. When I first, somebody gave me the Lord of the Rings, the book. Yeah. And then soon after I read The Hobbit and by about 1978, I'd started collecting posters and odds and ends and increasing my book collection. And it's just grown and grown. What about the story just captured your imagination? The thing I love about the story, and I think this is the crux of it, is the little people make a difference. Mm. In other words, the small people... um, yeah, they make a difference. They can change the world. Even the smallest of person yeah. can change Well, it things. is a lovely message, isn't it? Because they talk about the fact that the hobbits aren't warriors. They're not the wisest of people, uh, but yet they, you know, they save Middle Earth. That That's the, you know, they sure much do. the journey. And yeah, go on. No, I was just going to say they sure do, yes. Yeah. Um, now, now, you've brought in a couple of things here which are absolutely gorgeous. So a little Frodo doll. Which is rather sweet. A little Frodo plush doll, yes. <laughs> How difficult or easy is it to find um, these um, things now? I think they're getting harder to find, but there's a new set out now for The Hobbit, so mm-hmm. you can get a Bilbo plush doll now, oh. plus a Gollum and a Gandalf. Ah, oh, okay. So once the uh, the movies came out, the Peter Jackson movies came out, that must have been an explosion again of things that were available. Uh, an explosion. Fandom. Yeah, an explosion of merchandise mm. and the figurines, you know, based on the characters in the movies, plus jewellery, maps, yeah, helmets, <laughs> it goes on and on. <laughs> now, Peter, yeah. we're going to have you back on in a couple of months to talk about your um, Tolkien Fellowship. Brisbane Tolkien Fellowship. Yep, we'll do that then. I just wanted to concentrate on Supernova today and who you're going to be meeting at Supernova. Well, the plan is to meet... Um, Sylvester McCoy, Mm -hmm. who plays Radagast the Brown uh, in the movies, but also Sylvester McCoy was one of the early um, Doctor Whos. Yes, he was. And I do have a premium ticket that gets me into the inner circle where I can get to meet the three dwarves and Sylvester McCoy for photographs and autographs. Uh, You should be right then. I hope so. Yeah, that'll be fantastic. Have you met many of the um, stars of the Lord of the Rings movies? Um, I have a photo of myself with Billy Boyd. Mm-hmm. I have met uh, Sean Aston. Yeah. I've met, um, oh, what's his name? Gimli? Uh, I've forgotten his name. Gimli the Dwarf. Um, uh, we're talking, oh, yes, he was in the, the um, Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, I know. Well, I've, I've, I've just gone blank. That's awful? okay. And, yeah, but... I've, and I've met Ian Murr and yep. a few of those people, yes. What do you think it is about that series that people loved so much when it came out? What, the movies? or Yeah. The, I think the movies, it, it, they, they just, it's just grandeur and lots of action. Um, uh, characters that you can associate with because they have human feelings and, uh, yeah, there's mm. love, there's passion. Now, you've uh, brought in some books as well. Now, these are versions of The Hobbit translated into different languages. Yes, I have a large collection of hobbits in different languages at home. One in French? I brought in a French one, Bilbo le Hobbit. Bilbo le Hobbit. Do you speak French? No. Okay. <laughs> I can say le Hobbit. <laughs> I mean, very well done, Allez too. vous Francois. And this is fascinating, Hobbit in Latin. In Latin. Well, the only people I can think of that still speak Latin would be uh, possibly those at the Vatican. Yeah, possibly. That's that's just for them. Probably the top seller in the Vatican City. That's right. <laughs> yes. Going out like hotcakes. Just ask him. Pope Francis, he's on to this. Yeah, it's on the night. It's a novelty book. It's interesting. <laughs> exactly. So what what else would you be doing at Supernova? You've got a stand there. At Supernova, we have a booth 
We have our Hobbit Hole on display at Supernova, mm -hmm. which, What's is, that? which is currently in the, uh, in the Queensland Museum. Museum. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a tabletop model, about a metre by a metre square, and it's based on, based on um, mm -hmm. Bag End and has lots of little foods yeah. and furniture. And Great. Little... So it's Bilbo's and Bilbo and Frodo's house. Yeah, and lots yep. of little things on the walls that we associate with the movies and so on. Yeah, well, it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun. And may I point out, when we're at Supernova, we run raffles and sell and sell the badges. badges yep. And the money we raise goes to our children's charity, which is called the Fortinbras Proudfoot Esquire Foundation. Fabulous. Um, and that's your your Hobbit name. That's my pen name for my. <laughs> Poems and stories. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Well, next time we have you on, we will learn more yes. about those. And about the Brisbane Tolkien Fellowship. Yeah. Well, good luck meeting um, meeting your hero from the um, from the series at Supernova. And just enjoy Supernova. It One always looks heroes. like a blast. One of them. Hmm. Okay. Peter Kenny.